because the SEC missed the time to file an appeal in the case between the SEC and Ripple. The CC's review of the judge's decision may be turned down by the court. For a few weeks now, people have been saying that this had been happening. It has been said that the date is October 16th. On the other hand, the speaker isn't sure what will happen with the case and is getting information from a number of lawyers who are part of the XRP community. It looks like the Securities and Exchange Commission is no longer appealing because they missed the deadline and didn't file. This has made the market skeptical. A reporter for Fox Business named Glana Twitt gave an example of a conversation she had with Stuart Alder, who is the chief law officer of Ripple. Alder told them that the SEC had until the 16th to file and that they had to fill out Form C. If they don't send in Form C by the due date, they won't be able to make an appeal. The fact that the Securities and Exchange Commission officially sent in its notice of appeal on October 2nd is another important point that has been brought up. Attorney James Kay filed proof that the docking system will be there on October 3rd, which could mean that the estimates need to be changed. The person talking doesn't know much about money and doesn't give money tips. The person is still interested in cryptocurrencies and enjoys making fun movies on YouTube about different aspects of cryptocurrencies. Some say that the real due date was October 16th, which is exactly one hour and 17 minutes ago. The price of XRP has gone up a lot, and everyone on social media is saying that it looks like the SEC is not going to appeal the ruling. It is very important that we don't get too far ahead of ourselves. When things are moving very quickly, there is a limit to how much news and information can get through. It sounds like the person talking is getting by with what they have and isn't giving any financial advice or help. They are just a crypto fanatic who posts videos on YouTube about different crypto-related topics for fun. Because they didn't turn in Form C by the due date, which was 1.59 a.m. Eastern Time, the Securities and Exchange Commission is now facing a case. There are seven minutes left for the Securities and Exchange Commission to file an appeal against this decision. The request will be turned down if they don't do that. Attorney Jeremy Hogan said that the Securities and Exchange Commission had not yet turned in Form C and that it was due today when asked about the situation. He also said that several lawyers have told him that the will be thrown out if it is not turned in by the due date. It's hard for the Securities and Exchange Commission to think that the SEC wouldn't go through with the appeal so they have been slow to move forward with it. The people can't trust this because not a single document was turned in an hour ago. Some people on the SEC's website said it was even one minute before the limit, which shows that they didn't all answer the question the same way. Someone who works for Fox Business has confirmed that. There is no PACER file. It was confirmed by all the lawyers the speaker talked to that there is no PACER case because the Securities and Exchange Commission did not send in Form California. Legality has been called into question in this case. Some people think that the Securities and Exchange Commission might have read the deadline wrong, while others think that the SECC has not yet replied to the appeal. Because the Securities and Exchange Commission couldn't send in Form C, there is doubt about the lawsuit's validity and the possible consequences for not filing. Finally, the Securities and Exchange Commission's failure to file Form C has led to questions about whether or not what they did was proper and what might happen if they don't file. There are a lot of people who are upset that the Securities and Exchange Commission hasn't responded to the request. To be doubtful and uncertain about what the law says about the situation. Ripple's general counsel said that the 16th of October was the last day to file an appeal with either the district court or the tax court. Even so, this date wasn't met because the paper wasn't turned in until the second day before the deadline, which was the deadline. After you send your notice of appeal to either the district court or the tax court, the official paper says you only have 14 days to complete the next important steps, which are mentioned below, like Form C, need to be turned in. It's important to meet these requirements within 14 days or else your request will be turned down. 2. You need to file the notice of appeal with the district court to the tax court on the second day, even if you don't count the first day until October 3rd. That being said, this would still get you to October 16th, which is when everyone said the limit would be. Third, lawyer Fred Riesel uploaded the file at 11.31 p.m., which was a little more than 30 minutes after the limit. A lawyer named Ryes Poi said that the Form C application that was sent in late should have been sent in by October. 16th at 2359 Eastern Time. It's important to remember, though, that the local rules of the Second Circuit say that if you don't follow them, the case could be thrown out. 4. The statement that it would be thrown out was read by lawyer Bill Morgan, who saw the paper being given to him. He talked about important things. 5. 
The Secretary of State's notice of appeal was turned in on the 2nd, but it wasn't put on the docket until the 4th. There is a new document that was sent to the Second Circuit that says the real limit is November 18th at 9 p.m. Add LNC 5. On October 18th, Friday, this could be the only reason why the date wasn't met. An expert in money. Matters named Eleanor Churette has been talking about the ongoing lawsuits that are being made against Ripple, a cryptocurrency exchange. Since everything is happening right now, this is very current. When it comes to the information she is giving here, she is hesitant and careful. For some reason, she believes that the SEC's notice of appeal was sent to the Second Circuit. It wasn't docketed until the Fourth Circuit, which looks like the real due date. Eleanor Tarrant has looked at a lot of different sources, but she still can't say for sure if, sure if she is right or wrong. She also thinks that the price of XRP has already gone down, which could be because of rumors that the SEC will not be appealing the ruling. This is because Ripple has no power to change the price of XRP. What the SEC does could have a bigger effect on the price of XRP than anything Ripple could have done before. This is being brought to your attention by Link2, a company that is known for selling Ripple shares before they go public for the first time. On October 17th, they said that the securities in exchange. Commission had filed an appeal against a court decision from 2023. If they do, they should say that Form C was sent and that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission took a major step forward in its civil case against Ripple by sending Form CC on October 16th, 2024. Island or Tourette doesn't believe this because she knows that Link2 has a good reputation for being trustworthy. They don't understand why they are being shown this information and they don't like not having any other options even though eleanor tart isn't a financial expert she would like everyone to know what's going on with money her research into this topic has taken a lot of time and she can't wait to make another movie as soon as she has more information she doesn't think it's likely that the securities and exchange commission either forgot to file their paperwork on time or change their minds about reviewing the decision Due to the fact that Eleanor Turret is not an expert in money, she says that you shouldn't buy or sell anything based on what she says. In conclusion, Eleanor Turret is hesitant and wary about the current situation with the legal steps that Ripple is taking, even though the SEC is stupid and full of itself. She believes they have not made any mistakes up to this point. Due to the fact that she is not a financial advisor, it is not suggested that you buy or sell anything based on what she says. The talk is still going on, and by morning we'll have given more solid answers.